hi guys welcome welcome back to my youtube channel this is me alicia if this is your first time here and if not welcome back all right so we are back with another video this video will be coming out december is it december the third Yes, December the 3rd. It's the day after my birthday. My birthday is December the 2nd. Um, I could either be, I think, here's the thing, Alicia, let's just, regardless of the outcome, I'm going to be very excited on my birthday. I'm normally not the person, like, I'm ne I've never been, it's my birthday. Like, I've never been, like, a bratty birthday person, I guess because I've seen that growing up, and I'm like, okay, remind me not to be your ass when I grow up. So I try not to be like normally when I do for my birthday, it's very leave me alone. I'm probably going to spend three hours in the spa. I'm going to go get a facial 110 minute. I'm going to go get a massage 110 minute. I'm going to relax in the quiet room. I'm going to go take myself to lunch um, and then I'm going to go buy myself a nice treat and then I'll come home to the family. That's normally like my vibe for my birthday, but the SEC championship is also that Saturday. And somehow the, the tide has managed to get to the SEC championship and we play Georgia. We play Georgia in Atlanta. I'm not going to go. I'm not even, I'm not, I'm not. Because if something happens the way that I don't want it to happen, I do not want to be in Atlanta with all them damn Georgia fans. No. So we're going to be here. I don't know what we're going to do here, um, but we'll, we'll be here. I'm debating if I'm going to vlog it or not. We'll see. Because, I mean, you guys have seen some of my fandom, but y'all, I mean, y'all ain't seen the half of it. Anyway, that ain't even got nothing to do with this video. This has nothing to do with this video. I'm going to show you guys some outerwear that I've been curating lately. Um, or just some pieces that I already have in my closet that I'm just going to bring back out. I love the fall and the winter. Um, because it's my chance to be able to wear all the cute outerwear that I've been buying off-season for cheap. <laughs> So, um, I've added quite a few pieces to the collection this year, um, only because last year, and I don't think I've said it, or I don't know if you guys could readily see it in my video or content last year, was I was over the size that I was. And it just, it affected me in more ways than I thought that I did, so much so that I just threw everything away. Like, I literally gave 97% of my closet away last year. I'm just like, nothing fits, nothing fits. I'm not losing the weight when I want to lose it. So just give it all away. Give it all away. And so when I came time to unbox my fall and winter, I had nothing to unbox. Like I had nothing. Whew. Anyway. So I'm going to show you guys, like I said, we'll start with some of the newer pieces that I have um, got recently. I'll do a try on haul right here. So I might need to scoot over a little bit. Um, I do a try on here and then I'll just show you guys some pieces, um, whether I physically have them in me or they're downstairs and I'll have to pull, pull up the video. Some existing pieces that clearly are staples in my closet as to why I did not give them away last year. So let's just get into the video. As always, I am going to link them below, but say it with me check your budget <laughs> i think that's going to be like our tagline like check your budget before i start every video so let's get into it all right we're going to start with uh probably the it's not the newest piece but it's one of the newer pieces that i got and i i got it was one of those instagrams this is why i cannot scroll instagram like people think oh you're an influencer you're always on instagram i can't because I'm just as gullible as y'all are. And I'll swirl be like, oh, that's cute. And the time it takes me to say something's cute. I also apologize for the light. Like the sun is either very much sunning or it's gone. So if my face changes colors, I'm fine. <laughs> it's just the sun. Um, but anyway, the time it takes for me to see something and check out is absolutely asinine. It's ridiculously fast. So anyway, I'm scrolling down Instagram and I see Emma, who Emma is one of the, probably one of the business people I look up to most. She is a British woman, started a ton of companies. Um, some of the ones that you guys would be familiar with is she has helped um, Chloe start Good American. She has helped Kim start Skims. And now she has helped Kylie start Kai, K-H-Y. Anyway, so when I saw on her Instagram feed this jacket, I was like... Emma, you know I'm going to check in, check out. So I did. Check in, check out. And I will have to say, for it to be a relatively newer company, I know it's not like, like you can't, like I can't give them the same grace because at the end of the day, even though it's a newer business, it's under Kylie Jenner, which is under the Kardashian brand. So 
of course they're going to be on their p's and q's but i got this relatively fast like i ordered this on like a wednesday and it got here like that saturday or something like that or maybe the following monday anyway picked up this cropped faux leather um jacket I love it. I think one of the, like, of course, I love that it's cropped. I love that it's oversized. I love that it's, like, kind of has the puffy look. But once I got home and I actually tried it on, I love that the hood is actually, like, a decent size hoodie. A lot of times with jackets, I can't ever wear the hood. Even if I was wearing my hair straight, I just have a very large head. I mean, I have a very large head, guys. Um, so most of the time with the hoodies, for me, they're just decoration. I can't ever put them on. But I love how this hoodie, I can put it on, and it doesn't feel like it's too small for my head. So I love it. I'm Hopefully, I'm popping up a video here. I get, did get this in a size medium, and I will say for the quality, like, this is heavy. Like, if I would ever travel with this, this would be the jacket that I would take through the airport because this thing is heavy. Like, this is this is a couple pounds, okay? This, this can't be taking up all this kind of space in my suitcase. But like I said, it's one of those that I can dress up. I I love being able to like dress this up with a slip dress and some booties. Or of course dress it down. Leggings, sand I mean not like sandals, leggings, boots, sweatshirt. It, it can go both ways. I have been on the hunt for a cropped faux leather jacket. I actually got a brown color. I showed it to you guys in a vlog that I went with Kyosha Nim. Um, it wasn't as cropped as I would like, so I have it sent to the alterations lady to kind of cut and, and, and do the things. It's taken her a while. I guess I guess that was a big request because she still has it. So we'll see. We'll see if I get it back. I don't know. Anyway, so love this one. It's one of the more recent ones that I have gotten in the, well, in the collection. Okay, moving on. We're just going to stick in the faux leather family. Right now, I feel like that's too dark. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord. Okay. Come on, Alicia. Okay. Next up, we have this jacket. And I, so I did show you guys when we were in Vegas, I showed you um, a haul. But I forgot to show you the haul from when we were doing the last day. It just kind of, I forgot. We went over to, we went all the things. We went to Marshalls, Ross, Burlington. I think that was it. Just three stores anyway we went into burlington and i haven't I, clearly i haven't been to the right burlington because we have one we have a couple the closest one i think to me is all, down 280 i just recently went into that one it wasn't hitting the way that the one in vegas was hitting like it was not i got some good things at that burlington one of those was this cropped brown jacket not only is this jacket brown but it has the brown with the gold detailing and I have been on the hunt for this one because since silver has been making a comeback, it has just been taking over the fashions. Like I'll see, like I saw a dark green um, faux leather jacket at Nordstrom with silver embellishments. How dare silver? Hello, you understand the hierarchy? It's gold and then silver. So anyway, when I saw this one, I saw that it was brown with gold embellishments, I was like, oh, check out. But then we have this faux, what do you call it, fur thing sitting right here. I, I have a video, so I'll pop up a couple of videos. I've already actually already styled this, y'all. And then the faux fur kind of extends in here. So it is in the actual body of the jacket. It's not in the... Um, the arms but it is double lined so you'll still get a little bit of warmth from there i'll i'm hoping i can be able to find it if i can't i will put the brand here that way you can go out and hopefully maybe google it but i will try to find this jacket because if you don't buy anything this season you need your brown jacket like look it hits at a length that i'm comfortable with i like that the the front is just a little bit longer than the box so than the back so it kind of gives like that extra like asymmetric kind of thing to it it's just a vibe i love it all right staying in vegas <laughs> staying in vegas we went like i said to marshall's and i was able to pick this faux leather i have been on the hunt for two things from zara one is a faux leather blazer and then two is a crop trench jacket that everybody's wearing um went into zara tried on i think they had a medium i didn't like the way it fit i knew i wanted to get a large um and i just haven't ordered it yet i'm being honest i don't i mean if i haven't ordered it yet did i really want it but one of the things i definitely wanted was a a faux leather blazer so I, they saw i saw one in zara and i said hey if i don't see anything else while we're in vegas i'll just go by and get and get that one 
went into Marshalls, saw this one from Rebecca Minkoff, and it was on clearance. I'm, I've already taken the tag off. Anyway, it was on clearance for $35. I know, I already know because I'm just like, that's literally a third of the price of the one at Zara. Because Zara was like $89. I was like, this is a third of the one at Zara. Let me just try it on to make sure that I like it. I tried it on. I like it. I rated it 1 through 10. It's a 10, so I got it. <laughs> Sorry, it's Keith Lee if you don't follow him on TikTok. Anyway, got it. Love it. It's a faux leather blazer. I mean, what more can you say? You, you need this. You don't need If you don't, check your budget. Um, I will try to link some at different price points. Like I said, this is a Rebecca Minkoff. This is a very good quality. This is great from a brand. Um, I've mentioned it before. If you have not gone to your local Marshalls, go. Because Marshalls be having, be having. My gosh, my mom would be so upset. Marshalls has some really, really great brands at some really, really great prices. Um, most of the time, they're like from last season. But with something like this, this is a classic. Like, hello. Um, this is 100% polyester. I don't know. I don't know if Polly had a conversation with the fabrics, but Polly is doing the damn thing and we love it. I, I mean, Polly, come on, Polly. Let's give, give Polly her flowers. So faux leather blazer. All right. And we're just going to wrap up this faux leather. This isn't something that I got from Vegas, but I will be able to link it. I actually got this from uh, it says Bershka, so I can't remember if I bought it online or if I bought it when we were in London. Either way it goes, I love it. So it's a, I think I got it in London because I, I want to say I have a picture of me wearing it the, the same exact day. Hmm. Anyway, um, I got this full leather cropped blaze, cropped vest. Two things that I love. One, I love that it's a vest so I can be able to wear it definitely as a layering piece I love that it has a little bit of puffer thing um you know we can we can talk about Kanye and we'll you know we'll pray about him later but Kanye brought I feel like Kanye brought puffer back to the status it should have had all along you know I when I was in high school and even junior high we stayed with a puffer jacket and it was a vibe and then I feel like we got into college and it's all these sleek pea coats and these thin coats in these layers which is great you know for the south but I'm like what are y'all doing up north are y'all still wearing the puffer and it just hadn't gotten back to us in the south that that's still a thing I don't know but I feel like Kanye made it nationally popular again and all of these brands are now trying to um do the same thing and I'm not hating it's fine I get it um so I did get this from Bershka like I said I got it from um the actual store they have what i will say is that there are a lot of other brands here that do something very similar and i'll try to link those bershka does ship but i don't know if they well actually i do know they don't have everything on their site so they're really big or i think they're really big on you going into the store and experiencing it like in person however bershka you have no stores in the united states of america the closest bershka is somewhere in mexico so we have to shop online. So if they have this exact same thing online, I will link it because it's it's faux leather, but it feels like butter. It it feels so comfortable. Let's see. What's the material makeup? I know it's probably gonna be poly. Let's see. Material 100 percent polyester. I don't how crazy is that that this is 100 polyester i told you i don't i feel like whenever i i come across something and i'm generally confused because like i have um uh, i have this this jumpsuit and i'll pull i'll pull it up here this jumpsuit that i got from shop b freedom that jumpsuit is 100 polyester this is also 100 polyester how like with cotton you can clearly tell okay they, they kind of feel the same how is this two different textures tone like but they're both polyester now i'm about to do what i always do i'm about to deep dive into what exactly it is polyester and how they're able to make so many different types of clothings with it being 100 percent polyester what is polyester vibranium and it can shift shield shift mode into something else sorry i went off on a tangent i'm just like i am floored that all this is polyester a floored Moving on. So we're off of the faux leather train, but we're going to stay on the crop train and we are going to grab this L something. What brand? I got this from Revolve. L. L. Academy by Mariana. 
I'll put the brand on the screen because I have no idea. We have this great crop. It's like a cropped gray tweed jacket. Um, I went online because I was curious and I literally put in cropped. I think I put in like a cropped. What did I put in? It wasn't tweed. Cropped wool or something like that. I Google searched something and this was like the fifth item that came up and I was like, hmm, curious. And I shopped, so I shop Revolve, but I shop Revolve with brands I know. Free People, uh, Steve Madden, Sam Edelman. I like to shop there because most people don't know that they sell those at Revolve. So I can find the sizes that I'm looking for instead of going directly to the Free People site and the sizes are already gone. I like to shop at Revolve and that way I can make sure that most of the time the sizes, if I can't find it on the brand's website, I can get it at Revolve because most people don't know that they sell those certain brands at Revolve. I just let you guys know. Don't tell anybody. But when I looked this up and I saw, I was like, oh, this is actually kind of cute. It does have sparks of like specks of red and yellow and green, but they're not like that obvious. I think I just love the way that it hits on like the, on my, my person, like the way that it hits on my stomach area i like the belt down here i haven't worn it because i just got it in i can tell you exactly when i got it in i just got it in because i just placed a relatively not i mean once say a large order but i had they also had some other like free people stuff that i wanted to grab so i got it in on the 15th of november and so i haven't had a chance to wear it yet but it's one of those where it can be casual and fancy and this was a hole in my closet i don't have a cropped gray jacket um and i love it i also love how big the elastic is both on the arms and ar around the waist area it's cute all right the reason why i got on revolve was to get this steve madden coat trench whatever um i had went on the steve madden website because they were having a sale and i saw this jacket and i was like i need it extra smalls there's no sizes available and i said mm, i know who's gonna have it i went to revolve they had my size so i picked my size i was like so that's already like this was already in my revolve cart um so i did get this in a size large i love her i here's the thing this is not normally something that i gravitate to i'm not really a person that does multiple patterns and when i saw this i was like that's a little finicky that's a little weird that we have the stripes on this side and then we have like a houndstooth thing in the back it's just it's a little like it's not my usual coat but i saw it on pinterest as a way of having a blank canvas so an all black look an all white look an all monochrome look underneath and then you put this on top and this coat is a statement and then because it's a very light jacket like there's no lining it's a very light coat you can wear it in the fall you can double layer it in the winter so if it's like really cold so the two days it gets really cold in alabama i can put this and then still have like another coat on top of it and it just adds to the layering so i i love this jacket i've actually already worn it a couple of times i went to go run errands and i just put on like an all black look and had this on top me and william went out for date night i put on a brown uh knit dress and had this on top it's just a it's a little different in, than what I'm normally used to getting, but once I tried it on with the outfit, I love her. So I'll link it. I'll link it from Steve Madden, and then I'll also link it from Revolve because I want to say when I checked before I did this video, I think Steve Madden has um, restocked, but if not, I know Revolve has her sizes. So, all right, this last trench coat uh, thing that um, I've shown this before and I did a Shopping while Curvy Boohoo edition. It's the green one. I told you guys I would update you. I love it. You should get it. Um, I'm obsessed with it. I had thought about and I'm still am thinking about buying this one in like the beige color that they have and having my mama cut, cut it and surge it to make it the crop jacket because it's oversized my mama can cut it off can cut it up and it's still not going to be the price that I, that zara still has now granted it's not lined but y'all see it just know all right so that's the last newest one i am being honest like i said there was only two well technically there's three i can't the mango one is downstairs i'll pop up a picture um, I got that one. Actually, that's not even one that I kept. That's one that I just got in London. But so that's like a nice um, houndstooth, smaller houndstooth tweed thing that I got. 
um, but the, um, the other ones, other two that I kept, um, and this one's very casual. This is from Free People. Like I said, I think I kept this one because it's just meant to be casual. It's meant to be oversized, but it's just a green, a long, not green, a long gray jacket. I really, I threw all my jackets away. Um, to me, depending on the design of the jacket, um, and what I mean, you guys know what I mean by jacket. Um, but when I was wearing them in the winter, I just felt so big. Like I just, I was already big, but then I just felt bigger because of the way that the jacket was sitting. And I think it was because of the patterns that I had. Like I kept the green one from H&M and I'll pop that one up here. I kept that one, but all the other ones I gave away. I was like, I look big. I look big. I feel big. I'm trying to unbig this bag and this bag is not unbig and just throw everything away. So I kept this one because it is a, doesn't have a design. It, like I said, it's gray. It, it's heavier. So it doesn't feel like it's just like sitting out. I feel like it's like trying to like weigh the fat down, <laughs> weigh the fat down. Um, and then it's free people. So all the other items, the ones that I gave away came from like misguided RIP. Uh, or nasty gal or boohoo so I was I may have paid maybe 20 or 30 bucks tops for each one this one I had to pay full price and if you know free people stuff's not cheap especially their outerwear so I was like oh, I'm gonna hold on to this one a little longer maybe if it, it's if it feels different it looks different so I held on to this one um I they normally come out with some version of this every year and when I checked they have a long jacket but it's not it's not cute. I'll link it below in case your style is a little bit different than mine. But it doesn't come as long as this one does. Like this one hits my ankles. Okay. This is just a very long jacket. Um, and then the last one that I kept. Which I legit just got that, this one out of storage. So if you see this like stuff on it. You see like this. It's because it was sitting next to a sweater. And I need to get a sweater shaver. And take this off. I haven't worn it yet because it hasn't. It ain't been. It has not been cold enough to wear this. And if I'm being honest, I probably, I probably only get like, I mean, at maximum, ten uses out of this jacket because it is very thick. It is very heavy. It is very warm. Um, so when you couple the fact that I live in the South, that there's not really a lot of outdoors activities where I would have to keep this jacket on and it's just not me leaving from the car to go to a different, to go to a inside somewhere. So I don't really need like that heavy. I don't really get a lot of uses out of this, which is why I've kept it for so long. I got this. This is a top shop. I got it in a US size eight and I've had this since like 2017, 2018, 2018. Yeah, so I've had it for quite a while, and unless a hole magically appears, I'm going to keep it. It's one of those classic gray um, jackets. I have been looking because I, I like Topshop, and I want to be able to get it in black. I just haven't seen it, and I want this exact same one. Topshop has one, but it's not this exact same. Like, I know the way this one looks. It's the double-breasted. It's got the, the collar down here, so this is the one that I want in black. And I think when I have that one, then I'll be done with my outerwear. Like, I feel like this is a nice, even collection. But if you notice, I don't, like, I have this gray classic. I need either a black or a camel one. And I would prefer a black one, if I'm being honest. Um, I have seen a couple of camel ones. I know Banana Republic has one that I tried on that looked really nice. But I'm really, I really would like a black one. And... When I was trying on the on the camera, and I was like, uh, I think I'll get it. But then I got to thinking, okay, if you get it and you see the black one, are you gonna want the black one? And I said, yes. I was like, so put the great put the camel one back because the only way that I would be okay with keeping it is if I say I walk out of here today. Topshop has the black one available tomorrow, and I don't get it. That's not the case. I'm gonna get the black one. So I, I left the camel one there, and that kind of made my decision for me that I really want it in black. So. That is my outerwear. Like I said, I don't really have a lot of thick outerwear because I live in Alabama. Uh, but I feel like this is a good, a good collection um, to be able to, like I said, layer, stay warm, be cute, all the things. There are two missing, like I said, the one from Mango and then the jacket from H&M. They're downstairs and I didn't feel like climbing those stairs. So that's it. All right, so guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. I will be able to link exact links from most of the ones except for, well, I got to find the brown one. 
I'm pretty sure there's that it's gotta be online somewhere and then um, this jacket from free people I can't I don't know if I'll be able to link the exact same one uh, but I'll link the one that they have this season and then I'll try to find some other long long maxi jackets to link for you but what are we gonna do check our budget before we buy anything so hope you guys have enjoyed this video I am doing a giveaway um every single day not every single day don't do that every single video leading up to christmas so let me grab the item that we are giving away today um we are keeping it in the live and fearless collection family and we are giving away this crochet bag hand stitched from my sister it is a very deep gray i love it it's got the silver detailing here silver here has a silver chain and then it has the um if you would like it the little i don't know what this is called the little dingle hopper <laughs> that you can attach to the side here and then it has a it has a long um chain but i think i'm gonna just order you guys like a also shorter chain from amazon to go on top in case you want to do like this one you'll be able to hold but then the sh smaller silver chain you can go like this and of course the long chain that you're used to seeing you'll be able to do like a long or like a cross body so we're gonna give this one away um i'm just gonna keep the same thing because i feel like i was trying to find different giveaways i ain't got that kind of time so this is the keyword for those that are just coming here just to get the giveaway you gotta watch the whole video <laughs> Sorry guys, it's three o'clock and I haven't eaten yet, I'm delusional. Um, so this is the keyword, so I need you to put this keyword. And then I need, when is this going out? <laughs> this is going out December the 3rd, which is the day after my birthday. So I want you to put your birth date. I want you, to, you ain't gotta put your year, cause I understand, I get it, you don't have to do that. But I want you to put your birth date. So put the keyword here, and then put your birth date. And then I'll let this go until the following Thursday, um, which will be the next day for the vlog. So that will go until December the 7th, and then I'll announce the winner on December the 8th. I'll announce it in my community post, so just check and let me know if that's you i give y'all 48 hours so if you aren't really on youtube that's fine set your calendar to go and check on the 8th i'll give you 48 hours and if not i'll pick someone else and i'll send them this lovely crochet bag so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have don't forget to like comment and subscribe and do all the things that the other youtubers tell you to do and I'm <coughs> sorry <coughs> i'm gonna catch you guys thursday Thursday at 7 o'clock. <coughs> I'm fine. I just need to eat. Th Thursday at 7 o'clock. <laughs>